Whoa! Hey there. How are you? You good? You chilling? You know I'm chilling right now, right? <laughs> Alright guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com. Your boy is back and I done did it again. We are here live from the beautiful mountains of Connecticut. <laughs> okay, so right now I just received this new lens. It just got here through mail finally after a few days and I'm excited because it's a super wide angle lens okay it's great for vlogging it's great for me to uh, make my videos in my office which is a smaller space so in reality it shows everything even from this close like right now I'm like so close to the lens you guys don't even know right now I am gonna say this the lens that I got is a Panasonic uh, Lumix 7 to 14. Okay, now if you're looking to do YouTube, I will recommend it. Now, for all of the other YouTubers that are in the web development community, stop doing everything that I do. Everybody had a Canon. I said I'm not gonna do a Canon, right? I go out of my way and I get myself a G7. Then I got the GH5, right? Now everybody wants to get a GH5. Everybody wants to take the, the, the style that I have, the source that I have. I wouldn't be surprised the next thing they do is they go and get the same lens. Guys, try to do other things, right? <laughs> like it's really annoying when it's obvious. Like everybody here, whatever I do, like as far as like the web development YouTubers, if I get something, they want to go and get it. It's like, let me live. If I do something, they want to go do it. Let me live. <laughs> Can I live? Can I get my own style? Can I do what I do out here without people coming in here and, and trying to take my style? Come on, man. Don't do that, you know? <laughs> but yeah, this is a Panasonic uh, Lumix 7 to 14 millimeters, right? So this is at 7 millimeters, right? Now, right here is at 14. It's not that bad. 14 millimeters is not that bad but what's cool is it still looks great whenever you zoom in and zoom out like it's great all the focus is legit okay <laughs> your boy is on focus right so um it is what it is but yeah man last night we hanged out with your boy julio who is another uh you he's not a youtuber he's a subscriber to the channel right he's a subscriber to multiple uh, web development channels because he's really interested in this and he wants to learn okay but you know he comes to the channel he shows love here and what's interesting is that he lived very close to me he lived very very close to me we're like eight minutes away from from each other and and it's cool I want to do actually a video with him where maybe we'll hang out and, and we talk about code and he shares his story of how he got into web development and how's it going for him, right? So I told him, I'm gonna help him out. Whatever he need, he got me, right? He got me, I'm gonna help you out, Julio, if you're watching this. Whatever you need, let me know and I'll help you out, right? But yeah, man, it was pretty cool, man. I hope that I get to meet more of you guys in the future. I wanna do like a, maybe a meetup in different areas. You know, maybe do a meetup in New York City then maybe do a meetup like in Atlanta, Georgia. Then maybe do a meetup in Los Angeles. And I still plan to go to England. So don't forget about that, right? <laughs> I am going to London pretty soon. So when I go to London, your boy is going to be in there like, hey, dab, <laughs> dab, mate. <laughs> Bloody dab, <laughs> mate. <laughs> we here, man. So yeah. Your boy is back, so I'm about to start doing more videos. You know, I'm gonna try to stay away from the live streams. And if I do the live streams, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do pre recorded live streams. And the reason why I'm doing that is because what's happening with my channel is it's the same thing that happened the same time when I started doing the, the mentorship program. Like, doing live streams all the time hurts your channel. <laughs> this is like and advice for anybody that's thinking about doing YouTube. So the way that YouTube works is number one is engagement, right? Number two is uh, 
how many views are you getting within the first 24 hours and then according to that that will be how how many views you're gonna get long term right so my average is between you know every time I drop a video is between 600 to 1500 right depending on the topic that's how many views I get within the first probably 12 hours okay so when you do a live stream and it's great because I get to interact with you guys directly live right and we get to answer questions and this this and that but what happens is the way how Google and YouTube see this is hey the live stream is one hour so because it's one hour then what happens is if people come in for 25 minutes out of the whole live stream then YouTube see that and says oh people are only engaged for 25 minutes out of the whole live stream okay so then what they do is they take my video shelved put it in a shelf <laughs> they put it in a shelf okay so it does hurt your your channel um, as far as like uh, doing the, the live streams so what I'm going to do is because I still enjoy doing live streams what I'm going to do is I'm going to do pre-recorded live streams right so it's gonna be the regular videos that I was gonna release but the only difference is we're going to do it live as if it's a live stream right and then at the same time while you guys are watching the videos I'm going to be on the chat room right so as we are watching the video that I just released we are going to also be talking on the chat room about it okay and that's how I'm going to do things so from now on maybe once a week I'm going to do one long form live stream but the majority of time I'm going to do pre-recorded videos okay just because we want to get this engagement up man because it, it just hurts the channel right and I always say that, but I, I love doing live streams. I just wish it didn't hurt the channel as much as it does. So yeah, because I was like looking at my social blade. I was like, man, soon as I start doing like the mentee program and I start doing a lot of live streams, my channel drops like crazy because I'm not doing like, you know, little BS clickbait videos like, oh my God, uh, freaking top 10 programming languages of September top 10 programming languages of October top 10 programming languages of June you know it's like <laughs> I'm not into that I'm, I'm into actually helping people I'm not into doing like motivational videos constantly and be like guys this is how beautiful life is when you are a web developer and you know this is great and you know by the way you know check the link on the description you know maybe get get us uh, you know get a trial get a uh, get a you know get the the equipment that I have straight from Amazon like you know me I'd rather be helping people instead of just doing it like that like I'd rather just be directly helping people cuz at the end of the day that's how you really get results instead of me just like motivating you every single day like you you could get the motivation this once a week a motivational video is good but I don't want to be doing that every single day just to get views, you know, like uh, I don't want to be doing that. You know, that's not the type of game that I want to play in YouTube. Um, and yeah, man, just dropping a lot of good content. We're going to be dropping a lot of good content right now. It's a little bit. If you, I don't know if you guys can see it, it might be getting a little bit darker. And that's because there is no sun. There is no light. OK, that's the only downside of this lens is it needs to be in an area where it's well lit okay there needs to be sunlight there needs to be uh, how you call this like a nice um lighting right i mean i have lighting equipment i have all of that so in reality this doesn't hurt me and 99 percent of the time it's super sunny here you guys know so that's fine all i care about when it comes to this lens is the fact that I could talk to you guys, you guys to see my whole body, I get to see my whole face without, you know, whenever I use my other lens, I have to be literally like a mile away, you know, I have to be like 
imagine this for me to record like when I do my videos like right here and y'all see the whole background I have to put my my tripod all the way to the end of the corner so from all the way over here touching this spot this is how I know touching that spot right touching that spot and then I have to stand all the way over here just to make sure it takes my whole body I mean this is stuff about lenses and shit like that you know um, maybe some of you guys don't care about this but yeah so I'm excited I got this new lens man now I could literally be right here talking to you guys I can go on my on my vlogs like every time I go out I could just take out my camera and be like hey guys we here we are at you know <laughs> we are at the Gucci store <laughs> now you can't be with a camera at the Gucci store for you to be at the cam with a camera at the Gucci store you gotta spend at least ten thousand dollars and your boy is not gonna spend ten thousand dollars I spent two